Okay guys, um, we have a big day ahead of us. <laughs> Randy's a little bit freaked this morning. Hey, what's up YouTube? <laughs> but... We are taking our first overnight adventure. We're gonna take our bus up to a nearby campground and we're gonna be away from the shop. There is electricity up there so um, we can plug in. But we're just going to give our couple, give ourselves a couple of days away from the shop and try the bus out. So yeah, we're having to go through all of the steps of um, what do we actually need to do to move the bus? Well, I think you should bring them up to speed. I mean, the reality yeah. is we can plug into shore power. Uh, and so, and I've charged the 12 volt battery bank. So we have 12 volt power. That'll easily last two or three days, probably a week. But um, we what? still don't have, the, we have the propane fireplace and we have ceramic, ceramic heaters. Since we can plug in, that'll be plenty of heat. And the fireplace is working amazingly. Yeah. We love it. When you turn it up on high, which we were like, I was like not doing that. Don't know why. Anyhow, <laughs> it works pretty good when you turn it up on high. The defrosters aren't reconnected yet. We got the wiper fixed. The main things that we have to do yet on our list is install the diesel heater, um, install the lines up to the defroster, um, put on the solar panels, put um, make a pullout for the generator because we're not able to haul the generator yet, and um, and hook up our tow so we can tow the um, the pickup behind the bus. So. Oh. So today I'm just going to follow Randy in the pickup and we're and he's going to get the experience of driving the bus but we're getting close so we our son actually said, "Hey mom, you know Bully Creek has electricity. Why don't you come up for the for a couple of days and try it out?" I just switched out the propane tank so we got a tank and a half of propane. Well, that'll be plenty. We're getting ready to dump our gray water and we're going to fill up with some fresh water. So we will be good. And the plan is, is we're gonna go out today, Saturday, and we'll come back on Monday. So we'll spend two nights out. We'll see. So we really wanna develop a checkoff list before we go places, but since it's all new to us, we're working on that, which this trip will help, because it's just this is just kind of a shakedown to get the procedures worked out and find out if there's things we need to change while we can still do it easily. But one of the things that I know is uh, we need to do is both of the propane tanks are turned off, so we're not traveling with live propane lines. Um, and we always take the stabilizers off before we even start the bus, because the last thing I want to do is squish Shelly or squish me or whatever. So also, Shelly doesn't move the blocks that we drive up on until we're off of them and the air brakes are locked and we're back in neutral, so because we don't really want to pinch her fingers off. So, and we gotta take the back steps off and everybody keeps asking us, where are you gonna haul them? Well, they could go in the under bay, but for this trip, we're just gonna throw them in the back of the pickup. Okay, we got the front two out. Let's go take care of the back two. We, we don't really have a system for where we're gonna put these in the under bay. I think we'll just throw them in the pickup for this trip too. Not so much online, but people that stop by in person are always asking us how we're going to take the stairs because <laughs> they look so massive. But this comes off and it folds up like that. These just come off right here. I can carry this by myself, but it's a, it's a handful, so it's a lot better if we work as a team. But I really like the sturdiness of these. They're so sturdy and uh, secure. So I don't know. We'll see. Time will tell how much we like these down the road.
Okay guys, we got this routine fairly well coming into practice, but still, last time we didn't have this tote and the stuff in the fridge went everywhere, right? Yeah, it just kind of slid around a little bit, so I don't. I want to take a precaution so we don't dump anything. Other than that, I think we'll be good. So for now, what we're doing internally is We've got the chair bungee corded to um, the drop down table. Everything is off of the countertop, sitting in the sink. Um, everything is out of the stove. We have just temporarily taped the refrigerator shut and temporarily we are just screwing a board to hold this from sliding. All of those have locks along with that one down there and then back in here anything that we have fragile or art um, goes on our bed and stuff so that seems to be working out good so um, and then we've also just temporarily taped the medicine cabinet and pretty much everything seems to be secure it's definitely going to be a learning curve I think she's empty. Okay guys, since we're just going for a um short two days we're only going to fill the tank half full so you can see we're just a little bit above half and that probably took about i'm going to guess about 10 minutes i should have clocked it for you guys but um 10 to 12 minutes but anyway that means we are ready to roll okay randy are you ready i'm ready i think we're ready we turn oh we did not shut the propane off I thought you were going to do that. I forgot. Oh? That's why we need to develop a checklist. Yep. I turned off the uh, water pump. Okay. The paints are off. We're Pro ready to roll. We're ready to roll. Go, we Phil. We're going to go get some gas. We're going to go get some diesel so, fuel. We're going to get diesel. There she goes, people. Miss Mary on her maiden voyage. Okay, we made guys. it. We're in our spot. We made it without incident, and the lady gave us a, a pull through spot, which we were grateful for since we don't have a lot of experience yet. And, and we're surrounded by nature. All the trees are changing colors. We're under a big cottonwood tree. Well, so. what she's not telling you is we went by two or three spots that were right on the edge. So yeah, you not. could look right onto the reservoir, but I'm like, I don't know if that would be any more desirable than this. I know, we can't really get up on our deck or anything, which... Well, you... <laughs> it's a little we, tight. We had to, like, be careful when we pulled under to make sure we cleared. Um, yeah. But, but we made it here without incident. The bus, I put the cruise control on and it worked. And when we came down the hills, I turned on the engine brake and that was working great. The engine brake is awesome because when you let off the gas, it slows the bus without hitting the brakes. So, and I went and fueled up and I couldn't film that. So at the fueling station, the, the lady was like, well, you have to turn. I said, the NAS, I prepaid, pre-approved my credit card because I ran into that when we came home. And then, 
there was some discussion about some special card that you have, but not if you're an RV. I, I didn't, that was a little bit confusing. Then I went out to fill it up and I'm on the pump on the other side, which I learned when I came home from Arizona. They're like, well, you can fuel on either side. You just use the other pump. So I flipped the handle up and pulled the trigger and nothing happens. So I went inside and I go, it's not turning on. She said, oh, you have to go on the other side, take out the nozzle, turn it on, lay it on the ground, and then go around and your pump will work. And I was like, seriously, lay the nozzle on the ground? I was very uncomfortable. So the lady came and did it for me. She was nice. <laughs> but, but we got half a tank of gas. I put in 37 gallons and we're about half full, but we had like 10 in there. And I'm pretty sure we hold 100. So now we'll set about. Now we'll set up the bus, huh? Yeah. Get, well, her, get her blocked up and. We don't have to in. block it. All we got to do is stabilize it. Yeah, just, yeah, so just put the flat jacks spot. in and, and so, get her plugged in and. Let's see how it goes. Okay, guys, we have just been sitting in here relaxing. Um, the wind has really come up, it's really cold outside. And um, we're gonna have our true test this weekend because it's supposed to get down um, below the 20s tom tomorrow night. So anyway, we figured it would be better sitting up here and having a beautiful view instead of sitting back at the shop. So we're gonna just hunker down and enjoy the weekend, huh, Randy? See how it goes. Yeah. So anyway, just know we love sharing the journey with you guys, no matter what we're doing. And um, we will just catch you in the next one. Love to you all. Bye. All right, this is my lazy gourmet. <laughs> I'm sitting here in my chair, dicing up apples, and when I want to do the waste, I could just go like that. Yay, lazy gourmet, what a setup. <laughs>